Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? It is the Hoff here, and today I figured I'd give you a little bit of update, and we would start off a monthly thing called Road to My GTR. Now, I am highly trying to get a GTR, and I'm going to try to get something used between 50, 60,000 maybe, going for something 2012 and newer on a GTR. And the way I'm going to do it is this. One, any kind of funds I get from YouTube will go towards it, which just means the ad revenue, because I don't believe anyone will donate. But if you decide to donate, there is a link below for that. The other thing is going to be as much money as I can get, which I'm trying to get a renter. Uh in the house to kind of help out offset some stuff and help maybe pay down on these and that's where this monthly thing will come in where i will show you how close i am each month to getting my gtr and we will do it not around this time frame it will be um around i think the 23rd or 4th is when the interest kicks in on this and I will be able to say how much that is exactly the next month, but I believe it's around that. And these are all the bills that I need to be paid or paid down. And I say paid or paid down because this one I want paid off. And what this is is amount to pay off, essentially. So this is the total to pay completely off. This is the total I want of amount to be paid by the time i want to get my gtr so essentially paypal that's no interest nothing to worry about uh wells fargo credit card has a high interest so that definitely needs to be paid and my evo 10 that has 5.9 interest and i definitely want to get that paid down to about that amount where i may or may not have some equity built in by the time i go to trade it but I at least want to make sure that I'm not adding the Evo 10 equity onto the GTR. And I also want to make sure that I want to have some stuff paid down and some of these paid off so I can not only afford the GTR, but put some money back because if you don't already know, GTR maintenance can be expensive. Tires for it are definitely not cheap because you got to go with nice sticky tires that are going to have some grip. Plus, when you need to change out the rotors and the brakes, they are pricey. Uh, I think a decent set might be 2500 or more, and that's if you'd even do it yourself. If you go to the dealership, it just goes up and up and up, and I think it can be as much as five grand, but I'm not completely sure. I just know it is really expensive compared to other cars i believe my infinity was like 500 and it didn't even have the normal like brumbo style brakes or a kibo or whatever they were called for the infinity it had uh just regular cheap brake system on it and they were expensive for brakes and rotors so that's where we sit right now on a short episode of road to my gtr and of course i will save this monthly i do financing monthly kind of or like weekly i check my finances but this i will do monthly and keep you guys up to date on how that is going and then i will hopefully within 24 to 28 months is where i'm hoping to have this paid down to get a GTR. So hopefully guys, wishes and uh wish me luck and stay tuned to the channel for more to follow on that every month. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support and being part of my YouTube family and I will see you guys next time.